For the very first time, I tried the lemon tech way of taking shrooms. So you would powder down your shrooms, I measured about 3 grams, I think, popped it into a um, squeezed lemon, let that soak for 20 minutes, and um, I, I took it the usual way before, which is just eating it, you know, um, and I've also taken it with Syrian roux, and that was about 6 months ago when I did a 10 gram trip. So this is the first time, or you know, last night was the first time where I tried it, the lemon tech um, route, and it was significantly different. Now I don't know is it different because I took it the lemon tech way, because the past two times that I've taken shrooms, normally the onset of the geometrical shapes would take place, and then I know, cool, boom, boom, bam, I'm in. But I think it might be different this time because I didn't necessarily get the geometric shapes. I still got a hell of a lot. I can tell you that much. And bear in mind, I took the lemon tech purposely during the Lion's Gate portal. Because the whole idea is um, when the Lion's Gate takes place, there's a clear portal for information, uh, a DNA upgrade. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Go check it out. Um, so essentially, you want to be as receptive as possible. You know, so I figured why not take shrooms during the lion's gate when, you know, I can literally just debunk and break down any barriers and literally allow all that consciousness, all that mystical, ancestral kind of knowledge to pull through. And I think that's exactly what happened last night. Um, also bear in mind that the last time I took shrooms, I was in a very... Uh, bad state so I had not bad state but I was in the beginning of my spiritual awakening so since then I've literally listened completely to my spirit guides and since then I think I've made major moves from where I was six months ago to where I am now and 30 minutes in I felt like a child it's weird looking at it in retrospect because I'm still feeling the effects of you know the 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 shrooms the beginning stages of the trip felt like, I remember mosaics, it was mosaics, it was ferris wheels, it was very childlike, very infant, very visual um, in terms of colors, but childlike colors, colors, um, youthful colors, you know, it was like, I mean, Hamleys or Toys R Us, it was very, very childlike, and I remember being shy, but like playfully shy, shy like a child, because whoever was there, they were kind of like welcoming me back. But like they were so proud of the work I've done. But these were like gods, major entities. And I was like a baby little tiny person going on my journey. But they were so proud of me and proud to see me back. So it nearly was like, hey, look who's here. And everybody just came to come and see me. And like literally make me feel super shy but super thankful as well. Because they were playing with my cheeks. And I was just like, I felt like a baby. I really felt like a baby. Which is weird because in the beginning it was like very infant-like. And as the hours went by, I kid you not, I realized that for every hour, it was like 30,000 years that went by. I know that sounds super strange, but you hear to hear such things. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you didn't want to hear such things, you would have ended this video a long time ago. So what they made me understand, firstly, I had about six different languages going on all at the same time. So in different stages of the trip, one moment there was pure Spanish. And for some odd reason, I understood Spanish. Lord knows, I'm from South Africa, Johannesburg. I don't understand Spanish at all. But there was Spanish. And then they spoke to me in some ancient, like tribal South American language. But I got it. And then next thing you know, we were speaking um, in another language. There was literally like six different languages at different stages of the trip that was being circulated. Um, I was singing songs in different languages, um, nearly like, I don't know, did I visit my past life? But literally, the, the message that kept on going across the trip, and I, I literally felt like I visited each continent, was, you are everything, you are one, you are everything, you are one. So it doesn't make a difference whether you were um, speaking Spanish, whether you were speaking um, another language, Hindi, whatever the case may be, every single... All these aspects segmented is one. You are one. You are not separate. You are one. So I started visiting mystical like lands and there are some 
gorgeous places and I mean like outside of our cosmos, outside of Earth. Think of like Asgard from, um, what's that thing called? Thor? So it's like this place far away, it was like that. And what they told me was that, and again, this is very strange and it's still very fresh, but like they kept on telling me that I'm part of a tribe, part of a certain people, and I call them the blue people. So in my mind, I saw these three gods, but these were like OGs. These were people that were here before you can even, I like you don't understand how long they've been there, beyond time, beyond AD and B, they were there, they there for like gazillion years, right? So they, they are the entities, the three blue entities that sit like this on the edge of like the universe, the cosmos. And I, they made me feel like, they told me that I'm a descendant of the blue people. That's what I call them, they were blue. But it was very much, you know the, how the, the, the Indian gods, I'm not too well read up on it, but like there's an Indian god, very bluish, but not necessarily with the trunk and everything, but very much the same bluish purple indigo kind of hue. They told me that I'm of that tribe, this bluish tribe, so we are of water. And they taught me that each person, um, offer, like each human being is from different tribes, and the reason why certain people would resonate with my videos are because we are from the same um, universal galactical tribe in terms of the blue people. And then there's the, the fire, um, there's the ground, and then there's the air. Um, and they literally could show me, categorize each person in my life who's blue, who's air, who's ground, who's fire, and how they all come together and how they all segment, but not like you don't get along with them. It's just that we all come from different tribes. So it's nearly like star signs, but like on another level, but there's only four or five. And um, so they're teaching me all of this, but during the process, like I felt like I was at a, you know how you take your car into a workshop and you're like just hearing zzzz. I have never on a trip, underwent such major ringing in the ears and when i say ringing in the ears i mean like it felt like like a sweeping frequency but like strong it literally took me back every time i got this it's like i don't know what was going on but i remember i had my white candles and my blue candle burning in the background and this is during the lion's gate portal and i swear i kid you not that information literally hit me hit me hit me hit me. My ears felt like, it, my ears were popping the whole time, like constant popping, like everything is just popping in my ears. And there were frequencies, but then there were like next level frequencies where I literally couldn't, like the ringing became insane. And l I remember turning to the left and it literally felt like they were busy with this side of the brain, my head. And then I remember they were busy with the other side and they were like busy with this side of the brain. And I can't remember, anyone who does a trip report can never put into full words what exactly went through. There's a whole lot of shit I'm leaving out. But, whatever I saw last night is beyond what we know as Earth, beyond what we know as the galaxy. They made me feel like I am a deity. And I remember laying with my amethyst and I became the amethyst. I was inside the amethyst and they made me start rubbing like uh, the amethyst um, against my, my chest. And they, they told me that I'm going to pull people towards me, my people, the blue people. And I'm going to notice that they slowly start coming towards me because I'm there to teach them something. I'm there to... Um, they will know without knowing that they are part of the same people. They will see familiarity in, in my existence. And it made me feel like I was sent to earth because I started feeling my body and it felt strange. And it really felt like I was someone else in a human body. And the logic they gave me was that I'm part of... These people are like gazillion years old and I'm like the infant. But I have a special ability. But I was like the... the the, the, the playful one in this mystical, magical land of people with gifts. And they said, because of my playfulness, because of my um, lack of empathy, I didn't take things seriously. I was sent to earth to learn a lesson. And I was placed in this body to understand 
humans to understand gratitude, compassion, love, pain, all of it. I was meant to feel it all because they made me feel like earth is in my stomach. And I know that sounds strange, but they literally made me feel like I am this deity and within my stomach is earth, the whole of earth. So based on what I eat, it affects earth in itself. And if I look after myself, I look after earth. And well, maybe not the whole earth. I remember, no, it's not the whole earth. It was a portion. It was a land. It was a piece of land that I look after, but it was part of earth or part of the cosmos or whatever. But I just knew that I was the caretaker. And because of my recklessness, my immaturity in the state where these gods live, they sent me here to learn a lesson. And in coming, going on this trip, I went back and they saw the progress. So they made me feel like, congratulations, buddy. We see you doing well. You're making the progress, which is exactly what I went through. I went through a massive spiritual awakening over the past two, two years. And um, since the last 10 gram trip, they told me to wait until the six, told me to wait. And then I'll know when to move one up. So I'm talking about, I'm a psychic medium now, all of a sudden, and I'm an empath all of a sudden since my last trip. And this is the upgrade since then. So in the state of following through, based on the messages they gave me in the last trip, they kind of got very proud that I followed through and welcomed me with so much like loving hands and loving feeling. Like I've never had such a beautiful trip in my life. Like that was the best thing I've ever experienced. But it was the most intense trip because whatever upgrades I'm going through, whatever knowledge I got, it was intense. It was heavily intense. And I'm not going to figure it out all now. Not a day afterwards, but I can tell you for free, I'm super sensitive, which is a normal side effect of doing shrooms. But they told me clearly, wait 40 days and you'll see what happens. So I'm going to document from now until 40 days what's going on. I also met the Prophet Muhammad. I sat in the desert with him. We made a deal or we had a discussion about something. He gave me like, ac not access, but like he approved something. I don't know what, but it's linked to someone that I'm going to meet in the future. But I'm not doing justice to the trip. Um, there's a lot that's going on. But from what they made me, f the main thing was we are segmented in like these. We all one, but we come from different tribes beyond the cosmos. And my tribe is the blue people, the people of ocean, the people of water. And I'm apparently one of the special ones in this field. And I was sent here to learn something. And I'm on that journey right now. So in 40 days, I will find out what exactly that journey is because just like the ayahuasca journey, straight after, I didn't think any was gonna happen, anything was going to happen and literally a month later, next thing I know, I went from being a comedian to an empath, from being a comedian to a psychic medium and that's been my bread and butter since. So Lord knows, I'm really excited to see what upgrades will start playing out during you know the next 40 days and um, I want to see how the... Lionsgate's portal and whatever information I receive because I got a major upgrade to my DNA. I can tell you that for free. I want to see how that plays out um, because something definitely happened last night intensely, but it was beautiful. It was exceptionally beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's my Lemon Tech, very first Lemon Tech uh, trip report. Um, do leave your experiences in the comment below and know that this is this video is purely based on for educational purposes just to educate people about my experience it's not a promotion of you needing to do it but yeah see if you can relate to this um, it's always interesting to hear how and what your take was on the journey and how you did it just mind you I meditated with that lemon tick I would place it in the center of a grid a crystal grid um, so this was purely spiritual. It was not recreational. I had the candles burning around it for the whole day. I had uh, prayed on it, set intention on it. I literally had it. Pure, it was purely strictly spiritual. I had my crystals around me and like literally I became the amethyst and the amethyst became me. We were one. So yeah, um, I'm still coming to terms with what happened. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to hear, hearing about your response to this. See ya.